welcome guys welcome to cypress tutorials this is your instructor rahul shetty as title says you will get scratch level explanations on each and every topic which we gonna learn from this course okay first things first for best experience watch this entire course on high volume and on full screen mode this is mandatory because cypress icons are very small and with this view you will be not able to see the all the information on the screen so make sure you switch to the full screen mode okay all right what is cypress so cypress is the next generation front end automation testing tool built for the modern web applications so we already know that there are many automation tools in the market like selenium qtp protractor which are predominantly in use then why another automation tool called cypress came into existence what special this does for us okay let's check out their official website to understand why this is unique and special from other automation testing tools just search for cypress testing and then you will be prompted to their official website cypress.io okay let's go to their official documentation but you can read here it's fast easy and reliable testing for anything that runs in a browser nice so in a nutshell why cypress they were claiming that cypress addresses the key pain points where developers and qa engineers face when testing modern applications so there are some pain points we have with our existing automation set right like synchronization issues and test will inconsistently fail due to not availability of element and there are many issues so cypress came up with an architecture to address all those key pain points what we are currently facing with our automation tools so let's try to understand what are the steps cypress have taken to fix all those pain points so let me go back to my word document so now we will understand where it stands as unique compared with all other automation tools right now we have in the market so first one cypress automatically wait for command and assertions before moving on no more asynchronization errors so basically if you want to click on any link how does it work with automation in without cypress so it just tries to click but if that link is disabled let's say that after few seconds the link will get enabled your existing test will generally fail complaining that that is not in clickable mode but whereas in cypress it intellectually check out for the state of this link okay when it understands that it's already in disabled mode then it will wait to check whether this will turn into enabled mode so that cypress can click on it so this intelligence is automatically taken care by cypress now if you want to achieve same in selenium or protractor you explicitly have to mention wait saying that wait until that link got enabled or element is visible mode but whereas in cypress when it tries to identify any link or button if it's not found it will go and check in the html that whether the link is in disabled state or it's not in visible mode and if it's not in visible mode it will check whether there are any animations loading on your browser if it sees any animation loading icon then it assumes that because of the loading that link is not a still visible mode and it will wait until that animation loading is done so it will intelligently behave to identify the elements it will just not simply fail your test if it is not in expected mode it will wait to test to come into that expected mode okay again there is some time out for each command um by default you have 4 seconds time out 
So Cypress does all this work in the four seconds. If it could not find the element in that particular four seconds, it failed. But in these four seconds, it has some intelligence to work on. And you can override that timeout to 10 or 20 seconds, which you will see in the coming lectures. So they were claiming that we will automatically wait with our intelligence. Now, um, for example, let me show you one scenario what they have given here in key differences. Flake resistant. What is flake actually? Flake is nothing but inconsistent tests which may fail sometime or which may pass. So you have no idea why they were failing. It fails randomly at one particular place because of sync issues or whatever. So here they can, they gave a documentation that Cypress knows and understands everything that happens in your application. So it is notified the moment the page loads and the moment the page unloads. So every activity which is happening in the browser is notified to your Cypress so that it have some uh, resistance to wait for element or to click on it automatically. You need not write anything explicitly. Okay, this is also possible in other automation tools, but you have to explicitly write them. But here you need not mention any wait. You just write your code. That's it. Cypress takes care rest. Okay, look at here. As element is animating and it will wait for it to stop animating on specific network to finish. Similarly, I will give you one more example. If your element is hidden, now let's say this is the checkbox I want to click. But if I open the drop down, this drop down is replacing that checkbox and made that checkbox hidden, right? So using the automation tools like Selenium or Protractor, now you cannot click on the checkbox. You will get failure saying element not interactable. But whereas in Cypress, it have an ability to force click on that checkbox by removing this pop-up element. That means the drop down here, right? It will close the drop down and it clicks on that. If you force that to click, there is one attribute which you need to set so that it force clicks on that by removing the top over layer objects like this. So this is the intelligence Cypress brought us. So that really helps us to solve few of our pain points what we face with our current automation tools. And next, ability to test edge test cases by mocking the server responses. So Cypress also have the ability to automate your network requests. Okay, so when we say front-end automation tool, we were in assumption that it helps only in automating your front-end UI. But with Cypress, you can also handle your API validations. So Cypress have an ability to listen what all API calls are being happening when you perform actions on your front-end browsers. So now it can mock the response whatever you are getting from your API. Now, for example, let me go to the their official website, Cypress. And if you try to log in, it's asking use GitHub or Google credentials. Okay. So these are external services. So Cypress is injecting external GitHub service so that when you click on this link, the details of your user ID and password for sent to GitHub servers and GitHub gives the response back with authentication token and with that you will be able to log in. Okay, that's how it happens in the backend. But let's assume that GitHub service is down. So when you click on this link, then you should get a message saying that GitHub service is down currently, please try later. So your developer have written code for this web application in such a way that whenever this service is failing with a 404 response, you will see an error message here. So how do you test this scenario? So in real time, we generally say that this is not right candidate for automation because how can we control GitHub server? And we never know when they will be down, right? So how you can test from automation? It's not possible. But whereas in Cypress, you have the ability to manipulate and alter your network requests and responses. So from your code, instead of getting real response, you can inject mock response on your browser and make that environment ready that GitHub is getting failed so that error message can display here. 
okay so it have an ability to stop the original response and inject fake response so you can send a fake response of 404 so that that will be rendered on the browser and when your application detects that fake response then it prints error message here right saying that github is down so edge test cases out of box testing can also be done with the cypress okay so how it supports network request and all i will soon explain in my next lecture on cypress architecture and one more important thing cypress takes snapshots when you are test run this is very cool feature and you will really really love this now i will just show a sample in general you will learn all this when we get deep dive into our lectures now for example i am running this test okay so it completes the run thereafter if you want to know what happened at each and every step after the test execution is done you can clearly debug with from this test runner let me show you now the test is executed and these are different commands the cypress we have written a code to replicate these commands don't worry about this coding we will do all this in our coming lectures i'm just showing the benefits of it now if i want to type bob in the name field look at here when i click on the get it's clearly giving screenshot that this particular object is getting highlighted and when i move to type command it's highlighting with the red pin that something is typing there so if you want to know what is typing there it's it have before and after windows so before it's nothing and after it typed bob concentrate that edit box so it have taken screenshot before hitting that cypress command and after hitting that cypress command so that you can see what happened for each and every step of your code with screenshots this is automatically taken by cypress but whereas with our current existing automation tools you have to write a customized code if you want a screenshot at any particular place so after clicking on the shop button it will also tell that page loaded and then we landed in this page and thereafter every step now i have actually grabbed the four products you can look at here the four products being highlighted and then out of four i selected the third one and you see that four that particular last one is getting highlighted because I gave the method called EQ and then when I click on that and before click I am in this page but after click the item will be added in the cart. So like this every page screenshot is taken and you will really really love once we start designing our test cases. Okay, So that's one of the great feature you have with Cypress and also because of its architectural design. So the way Cypress is design is whole different from any other automation tool i will soon explain the architecture of cypress versus selenium in the next lecture and you will understand how cypress is able to do all these things like mocking the server responses calling the network request automatically waiting for commands you will soon understand that's all happening because of the way it architecturally designed next view videos of your entire test execution this is again the greatest feature so cypress have one component called dashboard where you can configure your tests to integrate with the dashboard so once your test execution is done you can watch the video of your each and every test in the dashboard so automatically after test is completed it will generate a video for each and every test so this will really help us to debug and fix all the flaky things wherever we see in our test execution, isn't it? So all these are the unique and which only available in Cypress. There are few more uh, features which I will eventually talk in my core concepts because even if I tell now you may not correlate and understand how exactly that is beneficial for us. So once we progress in lectures we can understand on that. And also you should know that Cypress is built on Node.js runtime environment and you will come, you will get a package as a NPM module. It's not like a jar. If any software is built on Java runtime environment, JRE, then it comes as a jar. But Cypress is built on Node runtime environment. 
so we will get cypress as an npm module to download into our machine okay as it is built on node.js obviously cypress uses javascript to write the test cases but don't worry 90% of coding can be done using cypress inbuilt commands only and they are very very easy to understand okay and you should also know that cypress bundles with jquery it seems a familiar word right jquery we have been listening that but what is jquery just google so it is a javascript library designed to manipulate your dom as well as event handling css animation and ajax basically you can alter your html attributes to identify element and you have so many benefits by using jquery it's a javascript library cypress comes with a bundle of jquery features so that it inherits many of the jquery methods for ui components identification so when i say ui components identification to handle the pop up or to handle child windows or there are many cases which we need to automate right for few of them cypress relies on jquery to handle those because this architecture is whole different from selenium so there is no comparison so every ui component what you handle through cypress is entirely new even if you have n number of years of automation experience this is the new thing to learn so it takes the help of jquery and jquery is very very powerful so one last thing to show and give you the boosting that how cypress is booming in the current tech industry there is a graph here maybe i can show directly in online so that you can understand basically whoever downloads cypress should be from their npm official website because cypress only available as npm module so based upon the downloads from different places in the world this npm guys have created a trend like how cypress is used by the software industry so you can check out by typing cypress and look at here from last 6 months the how the graph is increasing so the download number is somewhere 250000 in february but it doubled in july so every month the downloads are getting doubled across the world so this proves that how cypress is booming and how people are looking towards this tool okay right so in the next lecture let's understand what is cypress architecture and how different it is designed from selenium okay from there we will see a few more concepts of browser support and different components cypress provide all right thank you